Minecraft maths, maths, mine, mining maths, maths in mine. I don't know what this is called. Welcome back to Minecraft. Uh, if you remember from episode one, we talked about building shelters. I actually haven't played this in this world since that part one. And I have a base in this world. I built up a base, I went exploring, and I ended up losing all of my stuff. I never recovered it, I don't know, I couldn't find where I'd lost it again. So in this episode, I want to make it back to my base, and to do that, I'm going to use a bit of mathematics. So the first thing I want to figure out is how long it's going to take me to get back to my base. So what do you need to figure out time, or the duration of a trip? You need distance, and you need speed. Uh, so Minecraft has a coordinate system, which you can look up. Uh, so on the left of the screen here, I can't point out with a mouse or anything, but on the left of the screen, you can see X, Y, Z, that co the coordinates of where you are in the world. You can see my X coordinate is negative 1206, and my y, uh, Z coordinate is uh, about 11,126. They're the ones I care about. The Y coordinate is the vertical position, um, but because I'm going to be traveling you know, across the surface, I care about the X and the Z coordinates. So, uh, my base is, I think, around zero, zero, X, zero, Y, uh, Z, zero. Um, so, I want to make it back to zero, zero. So, how can I work out that distance? Well, I'm going to be pretty much traveling in a straight, um, in a straight line diagonally from this point to zero, zero. So you can think of it as kind of a right triangle. So what's the distance? It'll be the hypotenuse of that right triangle. Um, so how do I find the length of the hypotenuse? I use Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, so I'm going to do a bit of a calculation. So bear with me. Okay, so I calculated the hypotenuse of that right triangle. Remember the legs would about 1205, 12, uh, 1205 and 1130. So I took the squares of those, summed it, and the hypotenuse I figured out approximately 1650. So I have the distance back to my base. Um, now I want to find the speed. So to approximate the speed that I can travel in Minecraft, I'm going to create a little bit of a... Um, running strip now I was thinking about this before I want it to be 100 blocks in length but I don't think I have a flat distance of that length let's see okay let's see if I if I run from this block here how many blocks distance do I have okay let's say I run from here okay let's count in 10 so 2 4 6 8, 10, okay, so that's 10 blocks, and then let's go another 10, oh, it's already getting dark, that's kind of annoying, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, that's 20 blocks, um, let's see if we can get 30 in, 2, 4, 6, 8, or almost let's just go here so that's 30 blocks oh dear and it's getting dark you know what I'm going to go and sleep in one of these houses rather than building my shelter like I did last time oh I can't sprint because I don't have any food that's annoying maybe they have some bread in here okay I'm gonna go to sleep and then I uh, continue tomorrow okay so it's the next day remember we're trying to figure out the sprinting speed actually you know what I really want some I really don't want to walk slowly so I'm gonna make some bread okay I made myself some bread so so hopefully I can sprint soon just have to recover my health so remember what I'm trying to find I'm trying to find my average speed it's really gonna be quite approximate but I had this course here of about 30 blocks so I want to find how long it takes me to um, sprint 30 blocks. And in order to sprint in Minecraft, actually, see my health bar? 
I need that to be full. So I'm going to wait for that to fill up and then I can sprint and see how long uh, it takes me to sprint 30 blocks. Then I have my speed, I have my distance, so I can work, work out approximately how long it's going to take me um, in uh, real world time. It won't be Minecraft time, it will be real world time, how long it's going to take me to get back to my base. Uh, okay, so I'll just wait for this to fill up and then we'll see how long it takes. Okay, now my health bar is full, I can move a bit faster and I'm able to sprint. So let's see how fast I can sprint 30 blocks approximately. Okay, I've got to start my timer on my phone. Let's see? So I'm just getting my timer up. Okay, this is going to be kind of tricky. I need to I need to double tap forward when I start my timer. Okay, ready, set, go. And apparently it's quicker if you jump as well. Okay, stop the timer. Okay, so I got about five seconds. Uh, now, you're probably saying, someone's probably already figured this out already, how fast you can travel in Minecraft. Why bother doing it yourself? Well, isn't it more fun to do it yourself? I mean, really, I could look up some numbers on the internet, but, uh, you know, it's fun to figure it out for yourself. And also, I'm holding an arrow because, um, you know, that's, not many people know that, but if you hold an arrow in Minecraft, it helps you go faster. That's a little... A pro tip there. So that was a uh, that was a 30 block distance approximately and it took me about five seconds and remember I calculated the distance to my base was about uh, 1650 okay using the coordinates that I had so I'm going to do a bit more calculation I need to divide that by 30 divide that by 30 uh, to get how many lots of five seconds so that's 55 multiplied by 5 275 then I divide that by 60 to get the number of minutes so I feel like I made a mistake but maybe not it's telling me it's going to take me about four to five real world minutes to get back to my base okay so we're going to see this is correct. First, I need to figure out which direction I need to travel in. So watching these coordinates, um, I want them both to be uh, decreasing somehow. Uh, okay, so this direction Z is going down, but X is increasing. Okay, it's about this direction, I think. If you look at the X and Z coordinates, then the numbers I'm looking at, I want them both to be, the magnitude of those numbers to be decreasing because I want them both to get back to zero. Okay, so I'm going to go in about this direction and hopefully in four or five minutes, I'll be back at my base. Um, and we'll see how we go. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up fast forwarding this and I'll, I'll keep the timer on the screen so you can see if my calculations were at all helpful. Okay, so let's keep traveling pretty much in a straight line in this direction. Hopefully we get back to my base. Let's go. Damn it, I just fell off a cliff. Really didn't want that to happen. I just want to get back to my house <laughs> and my bed. That's all I want. And I'm hoping I build it at zero, zero. Uh, I honestly don't remember, um, I honestly don't remember like if I moved away from that starting point to build my base. I'm just hoping that I build it around zero, zero, the coordinates. Okay, let's keep going. almost jumped right down there that would have been super annoying because i would have woken up at the where i started from again come on i want to get home before it gets dark please i feel like this is familiar territory but i'm not sure as i said i hadn't played this for 
quite some time. Oh, please, please. This looks somehow familiar. I just want to see a light in the distance. A torch. Anything. Oh. Okay, I'm going to dig a hole. I'm really scared that I'm going to die and I don't want to die. Oh, God. This is a fail. Where is my 16 blocks? I need my 16 blocks, okay? <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to just stay here for the night. See you in the morning. I was waiting in my hole and a creeper sneaked up on me and blew up my hole. How does that even happen? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Okay, let's dig another hole. Hopefully I'll be safe. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that <laughs> creeper dropped out of nowhere okay hopefully it's uh morning soon and there's no more creepers okay that zombie in the distance on fire i think it's a good time to set out hopefully there's no one ready to ambush me and I think I need to go roughly in this direction. So let's go. Hopefully, now we can go a bit faster. It looks a bit flatter, uh, the terrain. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully make it back to my base today. Uh, so maybe you can notice on the coordinates now, I've actually passed zero in the Z direction. Um, so I clearly wasn't going in exactly the right direction. Um, so I want to get back to zero in the Z direction, which is, I guess, somewhere on that mountain. So maybe I'm actually going to try to go around that mountain and then I'll focus on the X coordinate. Okay, this is kind of bothering me. I have no clue. Um, I thought I would have seen something familiar by now, but now I just want to go in the positive X direction, which is this way. All right. Uh, if I'm reading this correctly, yeah. So I just want to go in this direction, pretty much stay on the same um, Z or, or not move in terms of the Z direction. I just want to go... Uh, straight in the X, positive X direction. <gasps> there it is. I found my way home. Yes, I'm so glad I built it like around the starting point. And here is my base. Finally, I made it home. It's pretty basic. I had only just started kind of setting stuff up. Um, yeah, somehow I have a horse still. He's still alive, which is nice. I think I had some... No, I thought I had something to feed him with, but I guess not, actually. Hmm, well, okay. Let's... Let's, um... Let's feed horsey. Must be starving. Uh, I don't know how long I've been gone. Well, I guess in, in Minecraft time, I haven't been gone that long. Just a few nights. He doesn't want to eat. There we go. Good boy. Uh, oh, there's my farm. I forgot. <laughs> I think I have enough cows. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, well, there we go. I made it back. And I guess I'm going to leave it there. Let's just check out my house. I don't remember any of this. 
Oh, I had an automatic door. That's cool. Didn't realize I'd done that. I have an anvil. I don't remember what that's for. Do I have any uh, anything in here? Oh, 51 iron. Score. Nothing in there. Uh, I guess this was my bedroom. <laughs> Why? Hmm. Okay. What are, what sort of stuff do I have? Nothing. Uh, nothing. I think, see, this is the thing. This is why I quit playing for so long. I went on this adventure. Okay, I've got some, some stuff. Oh, 40 diamond. Yeah, I went on this adventure and I was carrying all this stuff with me. And then I died and I forgot to, um, kind of look or check where it was that I died. I was just in some random place exploring and then I never recovered my stuff like I had, you know, all this cool armor and things and I lost it all and then, yeah, I quit playing for a while because I was too annoyed. But yeah, that's my base. I guess I have a portal over here. I don't really know. Um, haven't explored much in there yet in the nether. I don't really know what, uh, you know, what you're meant to achieve. But, yeah. Okay, that's it for this video. So, just to wrap up with the, like, the mathematics side of things. Well, I guess, yeah, as I was saying, the approximation of how long it would take me, it ended up probably taking me 12 to 15 minutes whereas my initial estimate was about five minutes and I think we can put that down to the fact that it was not in a straight line across a flat surface it was everything was in my way um, you know trees and hills and things so but I still think it was worth estimating you know ha have a rough guide of how long it's going to take um, um, and I think that's part of what doing mathematics in the real world is about. It's like, yes, you can come up with these sort of exact calculations or approximations, but when you try to apply that to the real world, it's not going to fit your calculations, but it's still useful to have done that calculation in the first place. It gives you an idea, it gives you a, a sort of something to look at or check on. Like, okay, this is taking me longer than I thought. Why is that? And then you come up for, with reasons why your calculations were incorrect. And it, it helps you understand, you know, you know, like what's going on. Like why was it, why did it take me so long to get here? Because there was stuff in the way, you know. Um, so anyways, I hope that made sense. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.